It has been two years now since the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. The violence injuring more than 100 police officers. Fast forward to today in a poignant moment of silence. Acknowledgement of the 140 officers who were seriously injured defending the Capitol on January 6th, 2021. In the two years since the attack, hundreds have faced charges for their roles, but still hundreds more have never been identified. Just hours ago, an Arizonan was honored for his role in keeping democracy in place following that attack. That honor now part of history, but there's still controversy on opposite ends of Pennsylvania Avenue even years later. Tonight, ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips shows us two Arizona men a congressman and one of his constituents shine a light on the chaos and the strength of our democracy. Two years ago, hundreds of self-proclaimed patriots stormed the U.S. Capitol in an attempt to overturn the 2020 presidential election. In Arizona, the pressure to make Donald Trump the winner was immense. One person stood in the way. You are asking me to do something against my oath, and I will not break my oath. Arizona Speaker of the House Rusty Bowers did not yield to the pressure. And Friday, on his last day as Speaker... When I met him today, I said, I hope I'm not hurting your reputation. Bowers was among the heroes of January 6th to receive the Presidential Citizens Award from President Biden, the nation's second highest civilian award. There is an element of honor, and uh, for sure, but I don't... I've never felt that... I, I deserved any applause at all. While Bowers was being recognized, his congressman, Andy Biggs, is leading the fight to prevent Kevin McCarthy from becoming Speaker of the House. It's not dysfunction and it's not imperiling. What it is, is the exchange of ideas. I know the last time I talked to him, he was calling me. That was two years ago today to ask me to sign on to that Fincham thing to going to the vice president, asking him not to certify us. And I told him I wouldn't. Earlier this year, Bowers was awarded the Kennedy family's Profiles in Courage Award for his defense of voting rights. As he steps away from politics, Bowers says he's ready to get on with the rest of his life. I'm absolutely ready for this to be the final chapter. And I'm thinking that the state of Arizona is too. We'd like to move on. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.